Hi, my name's Kim. I'm an introvert that travels the world while being on a tight budget. And today we're taking inspiration from Ryanair's small bag policy. And I'm going to teach you how to better pack your bags when you only have a very small luggage allowance when you're traveling. If you've flown Ryanair before, you'll know what I mean about their tiny, tiny little uh, bag allowance. Basically, I'm going to be taking the restrictions of what they consider a small bag, so the baggage that you can take for free on Ryanair, and teaching you how to better pack your bag. So just basically streamline your luggage, making sure that you're packing only the essentials, only the things you need, and how to get it all into a teeny tiny bag. <laughs> Travelling with just a backpack is quite common amongst budget travellers like myself and aptly named backpackers. So people like myself or backpackers tend not to be so hung up on the amount of things that we got with us and more concerned about just getting new experiences and learning new things about the places that we're visiting. So with that, because we want to travel cheap, we are more likely to take less stuff with us so that we can save money on having to pay for extra luggage. Less money spent on baggage is more money to spend on experiences and doing amazing things when you get to your location. Many of you may be used to the more generous luggage allowance that package holidays give you, but if you're going to be paying for package holidays, you're going to be overall able to afford to go on less trips because package holidays tend to be more expensive and they tend to go to more like luxurious places. So if you're happy going cheap, going on a budget, taking less stuff with you, not bothering with a suitcase, then it's a way of being able to travel more if that's something that you're seeking. I've travelled in a variety of ways. I've travelled from three people, three cases, all in the back of my tiny little Peugeot 107, travelling for two weeks to go into more luxurious five-star resorts where you do have a massive luggage allowance and you can you can take what you want. I've been on both ends. I've travelled cheap without much and I've gone to really nice places. I guess if there's somebody who can talk about uh, packing luggage better, then I guess it's me. I've also travelled using Ryanair and I've had experience of this small bag allowance and I've managed to fit enough things in my small backpack, so Ryanair's small bag allowance, to last me five days. And I, I could have done more, honestly I could have, because I travel with camera equipment, filming equipment, and you may not necessarily need to take camera and filming equipment with you, depending on if you're a YouTuber or a content creator or not, but because I am, I need to take cameras with me. But if you don't need that, then that's more room for more clothes and even more time you can travel without having to take an extra suitcase with you. Just to note though, if you are quite high maintenance, so you need to take like makeup and a hairdryer and like three pairs of shoes and 12 dresses, then this isn't the way to travel for you. But if you're happy with going minimum, maybe wearing dirty clothes sometimes, or, you know, washing them yourselves, then this could be the way, this could be the future for you. <laughs> so let's just jump into the tips. I've, I've spoken enough. So as far as I know, Ryan Hair was, so as far as I know, Ryan Hair has one of the string, string, stingiest, string, stringent, string, so as far as I know, Ryanair has one of the stringiest baggage allowance policies out of all the airlines that I know of. You pay really low prices to travel with them. The service is, you know, minimal and your baggage allowance is almost nothing, but you, you pay hardly anything to travel with them. If you're interested in knowing what their travel allowance is, I'll pop a little graphic up here or if you go into the description there'll be a link to my blog where the graphic will be there too. Of course you can buy extra baggage but who wants to do that when you can spend the extra money on adventures when you get to your place? So I'm going to be using a bag that fits into Ryanair's small bag policy to show you how to pack and how you can get away with taking less when you travel. So what are the benefits of travelling lighter? Apart from the budget which I've spoken about almost constantly so far in this video you'll have other benefits such as having less things to carry with you, less fuss when you're at the airport, have minimum effort when you're traveling so you can focus on the experience 
and it'll take you less than five minutes to unpack. Taking less stuff with you will give you an overall more enjoyable experience when you're traveling. Depending on the airline that you're traveling with, um, you won't even have to go to check-in. So if your airline offers e-tickets and you, you print them out or you have them on an app, you don't even have to check in if you're not taking a whole luggage. You can go straight to security. And then once you get to the other side, you don't have to go to baggage claim either. You, you, you can beat the queue and just get out. Get on the buses before everybody else gets on there or jump on the train before the rest of your plane gets there. You, there's no waiting around. You can just get straight to enjoying your holiday. And then you're not having to lug cases around on public transport. You can just get on the bus. You've got a backpack. You get there. You're walking down the street to get to your hotel or hostel and you're not having to like walk down cobblestones with a wheelie suitcase because you've just got your backpack. You get to your hotel or your hostel, it takes you about five minutes to unpack because you've got hardly anything with you and then you can just crack on and enjoy your holiday or enjoy your adventure. If you're not going to be there for long anyway, you don't want to spend like, you know, an hour unpacking things, you know, and you won't even use half of it, probably not. So what's the point even taking it with you in the first place? So what do I pack? Bear in mind that this list is going to be the bare essentials plus filament equipment that I take. But if you're happy to wear things twice, then you can pack less again. Um, I tend to not want to if I can get away with it. Maybe trousers I'll wear twice. I'd rather have a clean t-shirt every day or a clean top if I can. Um, but if you're happy to wear like t-shirts two days in a row, you can slice this amount that I've got here in half. But uh, let's get into the list. So for five days traveling, bearing in mind, I will be wearing clothes when I'm traveling as well. I will pack the essentials, my phone, copies of all tickets printed out and organized into a file, passport, travel money split into daily budget amounts in money bags with today's amount in a purse padlocks, notebook and pen, reusable water bottle, clothes, four socks, four underpants, one bra, two t-shirts, one trousers, one dress, a pair of leggings, one hat, a set of pyjamas and some small slippers, washing, a small towel, an exfoliating glove, small bottles of shampoo, conditioner, shower gel, moisturising cream, a toothbrush and some toothpaste. Packing needs at least two canvas bags. Technology Canon G7X Mark II and its charger. GoPro 7 Black with chest mount if needed. A lapel microphone, a mini tripod, selfie stick, mobile phone stabilizer, mobile phone battery pack, earphones, cables, plugs, or an international plug adapter. Plenty of SD cards and a pin to open my SD card slot on my phone. Comforts. A small toy to remind me of home. Reusable hot drinks cup. Hot chocolate or whatever hot drink you prefer. Emergencies. Painkillers, antihistamines, plasters, hair ties. You'll notice that most of my backpack is actually taken over by camera equipment. So if I can pack for five days using a small backpack with all the camera equipment that I'm taking with me, then you can definitely do it. So how do I organize my backpack? I take the things that I won't need until I get to the hotel and I put them to the bottom of my bag. So clothes, toiletries, actually not toiletries because you'll need them out to go through security. So clothes, hats, anything like that that I'm not going to need whilst I'm travelling, all that goes to the bottom of my, my bag. The stuff that I do need, which is technology and toiletries because you'll need that out to go through security. All that stuff comes to the top of my bag and if I know that I'm going to be filming with specific cameras or not using other things then again all that stuff goes to the bottom because there's no point that it's being easily grabbable if I'm not even going to use it whilst I'm traveling. Roll your clothes. It's easier to fit rolled clothes into a backpack than it is folded clothes. If you're traveling and you're using a case and you've got quite a lot of room then it's better to fold them because you're less likely to get creases if you're traveling with a suitcase and you're folding clothes but with a backpack 
it's better to roll them because you're less likely to get them creased and you can kind of ram them down to the bottom of your bag a little bit easier. If you're traveling with a backpack, you're never gonna have crease-free clothes, so it's something you're gonna have to put up with, unfortunately, but you're less likely to have creased clothes by rolling them if you're traveling using a backpack. If you're using a backpack that has external pockets, make sure you utilize the space that you have with them. I tend to put my notebook and my pens in the front pockets of my backpack because I know I can kind of cram them in and they're not breakable and if they get smushed up against things it doesn't really matter because it's just it's just a notebook and a pen. Don't put breakable things in your external pockets but know that you've got them that you can use them to cram stuff in if you're starting to get short on space as well. Don't forget that your clothes have pockets too. I always carry my water bottle in my coat pocket or in my hand because I don't want my water bottle to be taking up space in my bag when I don't have much of it already. Try not to use your pockets for a lot of things if you can get away with it because having to like reorganize yourself every time you sit down could end up becoming a hindrance and just an annoyance rather than it actually being helpful so only put loads of stuff in your pockets worst case scenario if you are really really tight on space in your backpack otherwise just use it for the bulkier things like your water bottle maybe a hot drinks cup things like that easy things to just carry in your hands if you need to Staying organised. One of the most important things that you need to do if you're travelling with just a backpack is staying organised. Make sure that all of your paperwork is organised in a file rather than it just floating around in your backpack. The files that I prefer to use are the ones that kind of open and there's individual plastic pockets inside them. It means that I can organise things easily and easily get hold of things because it's all in order easily findable in a binder. The way that I used to organise things, so if you're just starting out this may be a better way, but um, I've had one of these more sort of Ziploc style files and I used to use little paper tabs and organise everything inside this in order that I was going to use it and then put in that in my backpack but um, because I take scripts and um, things to do with filming now the file way is a little bit easier for me than the Ziploc pocket way, I guess. But if you're not taking too much paperwork, then you may find that the Ziploc pocket um, file is easier for you to organise your paperwork. And you may be thinking, well, everything's online now, or everything's on, on my phone, so there's no point in me even taking paperwork with me. Print stuff out just in case. What happens if you get to the airport and your phone runs out of battery? you haven't got a ticket for your flight, print out an e-copy or print out a paper copy of your e-ticket, worst case scenario, you know you're fine. And A4 folders should fit fine rammed on the back of your backpack. Your paperwork isn't going to stay straight, but at least it's organised and easy to get to. I use little storage tins to organise little things in my backpack. So. You may have seen these before. These are my storage tins. These are the ones that I created. And these are the ones that I actually use when I'm traveling. So, you know, just in case you think, oh, Kim's vlogging products she doesn't even use. I, I, I genuinely use these when I'm traveling. And they're great because they fit into little sections in your bag. And you can organize little things inside. Um, I tend to use these to store my SD cards or I have one that has all the emergency stuff in so painkillers and antihistamines things like that um, I keep all that stuff in there so I'm not having to like dig through my bag if I'm on the plane and I'm like oh I got a bit of headache coming I don't have to like dig through my bag going oh no not that not that not that not that you know and it turns out it's kind of hidden at the bottom I know all I've got to do is try and find the tin and it's in there. Um, if you want to get some tins for yourself, the link will be in the description for you. And I recommend it, not just because I created them, but because they are genuinely really handy for traveling. But um, using those is a really good way to stay organized when you're traveling with uh, not much space and teeny tiny little things. On my packing list, you may have noticed that I said that I carry canvas bags with me. And the reason I do this is one, because it keeps me organised 
when I'm at the hotel or the hostel. And thing number two, it keeps me organised when I'm travelling. So when I'm travelling, I use these bags to organise things that I might want to get a hold of when I'm travelling without me having to go through my whole bag to get stuff out. So if I know that I'm going to be using certain cameras or I want certain things out of my bag when I'm travelling, I put everything that I want in a canvas bag at the top of my bag. So all I need to do then is take out the canvas bag and then my backpack can go up above and I know that I got everything so I don't need to worry about it. Um, this tip works even if I'm carrying, even if I'm taking a suitcase I use this as well because you carry stuff in your hand luggage that you don't necessarily need for the flight it's just stuff that you want to carry with you so maybe you're carrying souvenirs home with you or you've got precious things that you want to make sure that are with you you don't want to put in your suitcase you can put them in your hand luggage and then you have a canvas bag on top of all that with all the stuff that you want for the flight and then all you've got to do is take your canvas bag out and you know the rest can just go away and you've got everything you need in a canvas bag and there are other things that you can organize in canvas bags as well in your luggage so for example if you wanted to take more bags with you you could put your clothes in one you could put your pajamas in one or another thing that i use them for is if i'm staying in a hostel and you're using a communal shower you'd use a canvas bag to put your pajamas in or your clothes that you're changing into and your toiletries so you're not having to like carry everything everywhere. It's just all in a bag for you. They, they just come in really handy when you're traveling, especially if you're staying in hostels, but even if you're not staying in hostel, they, they're just handy to have with you. There are some items that will be forbidden for you to take if you are just gonna be taking a backpack with you. Obviously you've got the normal things that you can't take with you, like, you know, weapons and acid and things like that, but you can't take individual bottles of liquids above 100 ml through security and onto a plane so this means that if you're taking your toiletries they'll need to be put into smaller bottles rather than you can't take massive bottles with you when you're taking your hold luggage or when you do take hold luggage obviously you can put these bigger bottles into your hold luggage and they go beneath the plane but if you're not taking hold luggage then you need to be aware that you you, you can't do this they, they've got to go into little bottles and if you're only going to be traveling for a short amount of time just taking a little bottle will serve you fine anyway a good way to save space when you're packing is to go digital what i mean is you don't need to take a book with you you can download an audible book or you can download books onto your phone the, everything that you may need to take an extra thing for can be used on your phone so you don't need an mp3 player you've got your phone you don't need to take a guidebook with you, you've got your phone. You don't need to take a map with you, you've got your phone. If you're worried about signal or you go into a place that the roaming charges are quite high, then you can always download maps onto your phone so you've got them. Almost anything that you would think that you need a separate thing for, you can do it all on your phone so don't bring more things than you need to if your phone can cover it phone cameras nowadays are amazing you, you don't need another camera unless you're planning on doing something more professional with your photographs your phone will do don't buy things when you're on holiday don't bring things back i mean you can buy little things like key rings or magnets or something that i do is i buy pins from every location that i visit so I've got the memory of where I've been just with a pin and the pins are tiny to carry home so if I am traveling with a backpack they're not taking up much space but just think when you're traveling do you really need five new t-shirts or you know that new bars that you saw because you may think that stuff when you're abroad is cheaper than when you're home but if you take into account the fact that you may have to buy another case and buy excess baggage does it end up being cheaper in the end anyway? Are you better off just not buying it and sticking to your backpack? You probably end up saving money. So if that's something you are considering, just do the math first. And like I said, you may be better off just not buying it and sticking with your backpack. I hope you found this video useful. I'm by far a minimalist when I travel, but for a few days and to save some money and to go on an adventure, I'm quite happy to do without some creature comfort. 
just so I can travel. If I travel maybe twice without a case, that will give me enough money to be able to go on a third holiday. So to me, it is well worth even just the budget aspect of it, of traveling with just a backpack because the less stuff I take, the more traveling I can do. And the more traveling I can do, the more content I can create for you. If you have any other tips on how you can save money when you're traveling or how to better pack and organize your things, then please leave a comment down below. I'm always interested in hearing new budget tips or new tips on how to travel more effectively. So down below, please. I'm releasing two informative travel videos a week at the moment, every Monday and Fridays, release at 7 p.m. UK time. So if you're interested to learn out more on how to travel better, how to save money whilst you're traveling, then please don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell so when the video does come out, you are notified about it. There's also a link in the description that'll take you to my blog and any links that I've discussed in this video, they'll all be included in the blog for you. Or um, if you stumbled on this video and you prefer reading things rather than listening to me talk, you can go learn everything down below there. And talking about um, links in the description, if you follow me on Instagram, you may know this already, but we've started doing little challenges on Instagram every week. Um, so if you want to be part of a challenge, and this week it is drinking more water. So we're going to be trying to drink two litres of water um, this week. So if you want to join in, you're, still, you're not too late. There's still a couple of days left. So if you want to join in on that, come follow me on uh, Instagram and say hello to me. Give send me a message, say hello. I'd like to meet you. So I'll put two videos on the side here that I think that you'll find interesting. But I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you again. Enjoy your life. Ta-da!